so hi everyone today we will be talking about a recently released multi model llm which has taken the community by storm because it has given gpt4 level performance on vision speech multi model live streaming so the model single handedly supports all the inputs be it vision be it images be it videos be it audios etc and even it supports live streaming as well on your mobile phone so the model size is just 8 billion parameters and the model name is mini cpm o 2.6 the model looks great and it is one of the best multi model llms that has been released so far so i think it's worth trying out so in this particular tutorial i won't be jumping into the details of the model i would be covering that later on but i would be first telling you how to use the model so for that let's jump to google collab So as you can see I have started with the codes for mini CPMO I would be demonstrating you two things one is a visual input other is a audio input so in the visual input we would be inputting a small video and in the audio I would be inputting one of my sample audios so before we jump on to you first need to start your TPU session or the GPU session on Google Colab that to from top right do remember that here you can see that T4 you need to switch to that once done what happened when i was trying out the actual model was it was not able to fit in into the google collab memory i was getting a memory uh, out of quota issue so basically i'm using the quantized version of mini cpm o that is 4 bit quantization which will run smoothly on google collab so even if you are also facing certain issues with hardware you can try out the 4 bit quantized version it is equally good so let's get started so first of all you need to git clone this particular repo that is auto gptq and then check out to the branch mini cpmo no need to worry about the codes i will be sharing them soon now you need to pip install this particular auto gptq like this using this particular command once done there are certain packages you would require that is pip install pillow pillow basically we would be installing all the packages required for images videos and audios torch torch audio torch vision transformers etc librosize their sound file vector quantize pytorch vocos decode moviepy etc once you're done with the installation rest of the part is a little easy you just need to load the model the 4 bit quantize model this is the id on hugging face auto gptq from causal lm from quantize and then you need to initiate the model you are loading the tokenizer as well now once you have initiated the model using init tts the model can be now used for videos as well as for audios both so this is crazy single model loaded can tackle both the different types of data types including text also so don't worry about that so before we jump on to the next part i will be showing you a video which that we would be inputting to the particular model so this is the video that i was talking about that i would be using there is a microscope and the video is in hd as you can see and there is a person dropping some droplets So let's input this and let's see what we get an output from mini CPM O 2.6. So this is the code to input video. So there would be certain changes that you need to do when you are inputting the audio file or the video file. So we have defined a custom defined get uh, get video chunk content function which uses video clip and then we are doing frame by frame chunking. So as you can see that I would be sharing the code with you so no need to worry about this is the path of the video one dot mp4 that I showed you right now. we are first passing out this video to get video chunk and then we are passing the system message as you can see mode is omni language is english and then we are passing the system message now here is the core part of it model dot chat messages equals to messages so if you see that here is the role and we are passing the contents of the video so we are not providing any prompt straight away we are providing a chunk of the video that goes into the prompt itself and here certain parameters that we are setting up tokenizer is there that we loaded maximum new tokens omni input that is we are inputting a multi model input right once done we need to press the print the result now if you read here text the video features a close up view of an eye piece and objective lens adjusting knobs of a microscope the focus is primarily on these components with no significant changes of movement throughout the sequence the description is quite good it's not as detailed as you you would expect it to be but just remember that we are using the 4 bit quantized version and the model is just 8 billion parameters so a great try next i would be inputting a sample.mp3 file from my own speech 
and I would be using a mimic prompt. So this is again taken from Hugging Face only. The example. Please repeat each user speech, including voice style and speech content. So we are just trying to let's see what the model is able to output. In this case, it would be outputting the audio also. So this is a sample dot mp3 that I was talking about that I'm inputting. This has certain samples from me. We are using the model in a very similar way as you can see here. Model dot chat in messages in the content part we are sending the prompt as well as the audio input right we can also provide a prompt for the video one also so no need to worry about that in a similar pattern you can provide a list then the audio input the actual audio file and the prompt that you wish to provide it and the output audio part this is very important here there are certain general parameters that you can see and they would be an output for the audio part so it would be able to generate an audio so this is the best part and then as you can see, I'm loading the audio so you can hear it now. Flux game generator. So if you know now, Flux is one of the best text to image models that has been released recently. Now there's an application one, Hugging Face. So as you can hear that the audio quality is not great, it's decent. Uh, I was the one who was speaking there. It's looking like I am some sort of anesthesia. So like I'm not in my senses, the audio looked like that. But still a great try. I would say that this is a great performance by a 8 billion model and which has out uh, like given results similar to GPT-4 and Claude 3.5. So we need to salute the spirit of mini CPM 02.6 team. The model is good and I think pretty good if you want to try it out on Google Collab also. Do remember that we are using the 4-bit quantized version so results would be a little shaky. But if you can afford to run the entire model, way to go. I think 8 billion model you should be able to run in your local system if you have decent enough GPU. So with this, we will wrap this up. I hope you try out Mini CPMO 2.6. Thank you.